My name is Herod Bishop, and I will tell you my horrible story. Oh well. Oh my god, damn. Anyway, <laughs> what kind of news are you this? <laughs> Henry. Oh, okay. The ground phone lags the tone arm. Ground phone lags tone arm. Oh shit. Hello? Boy, how did you get to this place? Hey. They be coming back down here. What's he wrote out? He's wrote out Kalungu. I don't know what Kalungu is, but it definitely ain't of the Lord's name. <laughs> it's Joshua Peterson, the boy who I just seen. What the fuck is wrong with Joshua? <laughs> On the 27th of September, he left him. My lord, what is that? Oh shit, it's Joshua. Get away from me. Oh fuck. Press the left mouse. What? Oh right, okay. You go fuck off, Joshua. My name is Herod Bishop, and I will tell you my horrible story. This story happened to me in the late 70s, and in the most terrible nightmare, will seem only echoes of horror in comparison with those mysterious events which I participated in. I worked as a real estate agent, and we had an old mansion in Maine which no one could sell. It was a dead weight in our company, as a stale product on the store's shelf, which was losing its value every day. After all, houses also have a shelf life. And then, one May morning, the silence of our office on the 5th Avenue was broken by a telephone call. That call changed my whole life. It was a Mr. Johnson, a very strange client, who was willing to seize this old junk called house. And even the fact that a family of five people disappeared in this house did not frighten him. But on the contrary, it was the reason for such a strange purchase. After a brief conversation, my boss decided to send me to Stonebridge, to this provincial hall in Maine. My task was to inspect the house and make sure that it still didn't fall apart, and then to contact the client for a deal. My name is Henry Bishop. I will tell you my horrible story. My name be Henry. Oh my lord, I've only just turned up here. There's a lady out there crying, locked in a barn. She is all right. Are you all right? Oh god damn, she got blood and guts all over her. I'll see. I'll have a wee little peek from this end. Maybe she'll not do anything. Ma'am, what are you doing here? It is a private property. He locked me. Locked me up in this chest. Who locked you up? My master. It's all his fault. Master, I will find the key and set you free. And then I will take you to the sheriff. A body has been found in the lake. Fisherman Billy. <laughs> Fisherman Billy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't believe the boy. We don't even have a first name. Rejected to comment on this brutal murder, stating the perpetrator will certainly be found and get the punishment he deserves. God damn, we all mourn for Billy. To some people, he was just an acquaintance. To the others, he was a friend. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what kind of news report is this? <laughs> this a little key not even a big key this time mm. what oh, what the fuck 
could have you just been in the kitchen. Why would you find a knife under a pillow? The chest is locked. Don't you worry, I've got a little key. Maid's diary. Hello, my dear. Dear diary. I write my news in here less and less, but it's not because I'm lazy. It's simply because I cannot write. <laughs> Maybe he's falling in love with me. I hope it's not true. If he starts to molest, I'll have to resign. <laughs> but I've got used to the children in the house. <laughs> now when he's not used to find a job. <laughs> if he starts to molest, I'll have to resign. <laughs> uh, I woke up and I saw Mr. Nelson in my room. He was just sitting and staring at me with those molesting eyes. <laughs> I've got very scared. He didn't explain his presence, but simply that he was worried about me. I can't take it no more. And I told him, I said, God damn, I would resign, Mr. Nelson. But he insisted that I stay for a short while until I find myself a new job. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> In case he <it> molests me. <laughs> An old plunger. <laughs> what the fuck would I need a plunger for? Oh my lord. There's a, there seems to be... Is that Joshua? Joshua? What in the hell do you think you're doing, boy? Oh my lord. Oh my lord, he has got... The dirty scoundrel, deep. The doll seems to be watching me. Ah. All right, shut up. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what? Oh my lord! Damn, we got to get out of here. Yeah, we do. God damn, what? That's not Joshua. Oh my lord. Oh well. Oh my god, damn. What the fuck is that? This is my horrible story. Oh. The Joshua. Oh my lord. There seems to be a body in here. It looks like some kind of clue. Play some music and a child with a key shall appear. Oh my lord. Unless you're moving quick. Looks like a hammer. Can be used as a weapon. Oh, now we're talking. There seems to be some dolls here. Worshipping a... Another doll. One of the mana queens has no arms. What? One of the mana queens has no arms. One of the mana queens has no arms. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, and I shall keep walking forward and ignore it completely. Oh, oh lord. <laughs> this is it. This is it. 
Nick's kicked my ass. <laughs> Got some mana queen's arms. One of the mana queens has no arms. Oh, what's this? This doll seems to be watching me. That's... Oh. She's right there waiting for me. A little old jump scare. My lord. It's Nifflin. That is how my old story beat the devil. Oh, oh my. This is a horrible, horrible story that I said. <gasps> okay, so one of these has a key. What is it? Oh, there we go. I'll take that. And what's this? Oh. Oh, oh god, okay. It's not out. Oh, did I kill him? Padlock. I can try. <laughs> Baseball bat? Oh, a bat with nails. Now we're fucking talking, sunshine. Let's get on this one. Seriously? Alright, we're going for it, boy. Let's go. <laughs> uh. 